Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a card of victory. This is a card of accomplishment. This is a card of feeling like, you know, you really, you, you something worked out in your favor, you know, coming out on top. It can also be an energy of recognition. So something becoming official or a relationship being recognized or a title being acknowledged. Let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the five of wands in the reverse and this is fire energy we have the knight of wands fire energy and the high priestess pisces energy so someone does feel very drawn towards you there is a lot of attraction a lot of desire when it comes to you um this is someone who's passionate and they are being bold about their intentions like this is someone who's not hiding their interest in you and they're making it known uh, with the five of wands being here in the reverse, it does look like they could be an energy of removing other options because the knight of wands can be someone who, uh, you know, they, they, they have a lot of, they can be a bit non-committal or they could be free spirited and this person could have a lot of options or people who they dealt with before and there's an energy of kind of eliminating the competition, you know, it's like you beating the competition coming out on top somehow because of the six of wands is that energy of a winner and we have the five of wands next to it in the reverse so there is definitely an energy of them choosing you over other people um, and these other people it doesn't have to be a romantic rivals it could be the opinions of other people family you know other outside noise but there's just an energy of them choosing you over the drama over the chaos making you a priority because this person feels called to do that their heart is in this with the high priestess they could have that gut feeling that you could be the one you know this can be a spiritual connection as well with the high priestess so let's clarify this these cards cancer Okay, so we have the nine of wands and this is fire energy sagittarius aries neo energy so this is a card of someone who is you know really putting up a fight for this connection you know even if it gets difficult there could have been obstacles in the way they were willing to fight through these things um this is someone who sees this connection as worth fighting for and with this card it does look like you guys have actually been through a lot as a couple because the the nine of wands is the wounded warrior but you know they're still they're still standing they're still believing in this fighting for this so let's see we have the five of cups water energy the knight of pentacles earth energy and the ten of swords air energy so at some point you guys could have even had a breakup this could have been an on and off type of relationship and there is something about this connection before this ten of uh, swords that this person tends to look back on with a lot of regret and they are wanting to give you their word that they they, they plan to do better by you you know the knight of pentacles this is a solid offer and it does look like this wasn't a quick overnight thing. This is someone who needed time to really grow and to develop. And it looks like they do want to put their best foot forward when it comes to this connection. And they are ready to commit. You could have actually waited a while for this person to, to show you that they were ready to commit. They were, they, were, they were commitment material. And it looks like, you know, because the Knight of Pentacles, it can be someone who's slow to commit. But once they do commit, they're all in. And it does look like this person is arriving at that place after some significant 
sort of breakup or disappointment in love or ending that has occurred, um, they are ready to, to offer you more, to do more, to be more for you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Cancer. So we have emotions are running high, super moon. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. Okay, so we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So this is someone who does acknowledge this connection as being a great love. Something that they do feel is worth making an effort for, going out of their way for. This is someone who wants to go above and beyond for you. They really do want you to see them in a favorable light. They want to prove themselves to you. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. Okay, so we have Lily. Majesty and virtue. The Lily is the emblem rare of many virtues, good and rare. So this person really does see your value, they see your worth, and they regard you very highly, and they're gonna show you that they see it through their actions. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out a card for your advice, Cancer. Okay, so we have surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can, can sabotage it. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.